I was not really expecting to receive this award, and but I, but I want to take this award like my uh, encouragement for me, not to change, just to keep doing, working disaster, working for others, so that the, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I must say I'm not that level yet. I really have to continue working, and also listening to people, and working disaster, training myself. Uh, I take this award as such a great encouragement for me to continue. I felt after I became an architect, I was a little bit disappointed about my profession as an architect because mainly, mostly we are working for privileged people. I'm not saying I'm not interested in design involvement, but also I was, I thought the architects has more social role for general public even people who lost their houses by natural disaster. In Kobe, Japan, we had extremely huge disaster, earthquake. Over 7,000 people were killed, and many of the city was totally burned fire after the earthquake. And I knew there's a, a former Vietnamese refugees gathering at one of the, the, the uh, church in Kobe. So I went to this church, and they were living in very poor plastic sheet shelter. So I thought we have to design something more comfortable, healthier, but more, more beautiful to be accepted by neighbor people who keep living there. So that was the first time I built the, 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 the shelter out of cardboard tube we call Paper Log House. The, the, the February two, uh, 2011 in Christchurch, New Zealand, they also had a big earthquake and I was invited to, uh, to build a temporary cathedral for 700 people. I agreed to work as a pro bono pro uh, project, as long as this, the cathedral is used as a community center, not only for the, the religious ceremony. So that, that now this, uh, we call cardboard cathedral, becomes a symbol of the reconstruction of the city, and also that they attract a lot of tourists now to come to the Christ Church. So uh, anyway, I won the, uh, the first time international competition to design Pompidou Center. Uh, it's a satellite museum, Pompidou Center in the city of Metz. And I, I did, did, uh, decided to make office in Paris in 2004, but uh, it was too expensive to rent an office in Paris, so I decided to make temporary office on top of the Pompidou Center on the terrace with a paper chip structure. And I brought my Japanese student to work with French student to built this temporary office. I stayed there six years. I'm now in the, the, uh, the apartment condominium I designed in Manhattan. It's called Metal Shutter House. So this was my first opportunity building in the US. And uh, I, when I came to the Chelsea uh, late afternoon, there are many warehouses and galleries. They are closed by Metal Shutter. So I thought the Metal Shutter is kind of contextual material in Chelsea. That is why I decided to cover all the building by metal shutter, but it's perforated. So this perforated shutter uh, can be worked as a security and the shading, and also in the summer, uh, still even it's closed, it, we can see through, uh, but the, the, this work as a mosquito net also. Um, so that was a quite important commission for me. In, uh, and also in the US, Aspen Art Museum, uh, we found that the very interesting material is made of the paper uh, uh, combined with the resin. It's like a plywood, but it's actually it's made of paper. So I made a open screen outside of the Aspen Art Museum using this paper. And also I designed the very interesting uh, the space frame timber structure on top of this building. So I just found out the, the, the definition, what is a temporary, what is a permanent. If people love the building, even the, the, the made in paper, it can be permanent as long as people love it. But if building was built even in concrete to make money, that's very temporary.